What is up guys, Poldu here, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. We're moving on to Chapter 8 today. Last episode, we met three new people, two of them being very familiar faces of ours. Um, being Tormod and Morum from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We got some more narration, so I will be right back. warriors led by Tormod join the escaped prisoners, and Dayan's army grows ever larger. Its victories at Talrega and other key locations have strengthened its position. The army rides across the land, liberating prisoners from Benihan encampments. The Dayan ranks swell with the influx of veteran soldiers, and the men begin to dream of the day when they may retake the capital. Like a fever, conflict grips the nation. The night will be long before this fever breaks. All eyes turn toward Dayin's capital as the liberation begins what all believe will be a long and bloody march. All right, so chapter eight, Glory Unwanted. And they pretty much just told you what just happened with Tormod, Vika, and uh, Morum. So we have them, and Fiona did die, but the only real loss with losing Fiona is losing her skills that we could have taken, but... Eh. You summoned me, your grace? Gerard, there is trouble. The... the Apostle has formed an inspection team. She's dispatching it to Dayan. Oh, I've arranged to meet with the Senate's Vice Minister, Duke Gatos. If we ask him a favor, I imagine he could discreetly sweep their findings under the rug. But in the meantime, you must obliterate the insurgents. Once that is done, we'll devise excuses. Understood, sir. What's the plan? Will the senators be able to cover up this mess? If the inspection team in the rebel army you ever cross paths, even the Senate will be able to hide the truth. We'll lure the rebels to Shifu Swamp. We'll plant tales of a mass execution there, and they'll be sure to come. Then we'll trap the malcontents and wipe them from the face of the land. Alright, so I know which one we're doing now. I thought it was something different, but no. I completely forgot about this one. Oh, healing wounded soldiers. It's amazing my wound is healed. What, this armor is like awesome. I give you thanks. I never thought I'd see the silver haired maiden work miracles before my very eyes. Silver haired maiden, help them. You must help them. Help who? What's going on? Calm down and tell me. They're killing our men. I beg you, please save them. Prisoners from Jodwa camp are being collected in Shifu Swamp and executed. Not only Jod, there's reportedly a plan to exterminate all prisoners in every camp and let the swamp conceal the remains. I've heard nothing of a, such a plan. It's a false rumor or an enemy trap. It may indeed be a trap, but if we don't investigate, we risk a mass ex execution. What if it is a trap and they vanquish the Liberation Army? The dream of restoring Dayan to glory will die instantly. For the good of Dayan's future, we must ignore this threat. I understand. That's why I won't take any troops. Only myself and my old friends will go. Micaiah! If you refuse them your permission, I will go alone. Stop right there, little lady. I will not authorize this action without the Prince's full approval. Azuka, let her do as she wishes. Please, she hasn't disappointed us yet. My prince are fine, but I can't help but feel as if these children are running your army. I mean, we pretty much are. <laughs> All right, so any three-star info? Two of them. Okay, one with Vika and one with Tronio. Hmm, I wonder where boss is. These tents all look the same. Hello, Vika. Can I help you? Meep. <laughs> that does not feel like fit her like facial expression. Vika. You always run away from- you always run away from me. Did I do something to offend you? No, I'm sorry. I can't explain why this happens. I get so jumpy around you. There's just something about you. Oh. Oh, but please don't be sad. It's not you, it's me. I get confused sometimes. I really admire you, and then I get a bizarre feeling and... It's alright. Sorry to bother you. No, wait. Hmm? I want to overcome this. I don't like that I feel I must avoid you for some inexplicable reason. But... 
I know how painful it is to be feared. I'm really, really sorry. Let's be friends, okay? If you can forgive me, that is. Of course I forgive you. Thank you, Beak. I'd be honored to have your friendship. Here, take this as a token of that friendship. Please take it. I'd like you to have it. What a beautiful figurine. The goddess looks so serene. Carry it with you. It'll bring you good luck. I met my boss in Morum thanks to that figurine. Thank you, Vika. I'll cherish it. I'm glad you like it. We got an Ashira icon, and let's talk to Teronio. Sorry about this, Lady Makaya, but just this once, I agree with Lord Azuka's concerns. I completely understand. This is my fight, and I'm in mine alone. Please keep the prince safe, General Teronio. I'll protect Makaya. I've enlisted extra help, too. We'll make it back in one piece. I tr I place my trust in you, Soth. Best of luck. Oh, I nearly forgot. You should take this. What a peculiar staff. What power does it possess? It's a restore staff. It will help you recover from poison, sleep, and paralysis. Enemies will use every method they possess to destroy you. It is best that you be prepared for every eventuality. Thank you, General Teronio. We will return safely. I know, and I know you'll save the hostages, too. Alright, so we got a restore staff, and I will be back. Uh, when we are ready to go into the fighting portion of this chapter. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've been thinking about this. We have two Master Seals. Uh, I don't know if I want to Master Seal, seal Edward quite yet. Um, but we are absolutely Master Sealing Laura. That way she can do things other than solely heal. So we're going to take a master seal and we're going to use it. I gave her most of the XP by the way to do this because she was not level 10. Now she's level 12. And this is the first class change we've seen in the game. And there she is. So, she's now a bishop. Very nice stat increase. And bishops can use light tomes. So, convoy, we're gonna give you... Light. So now she can attack. And... I ha he has a Worm Slayer, just because I know there are Wyvern Riders in this next one. I'm going to have him hold this Master Seal. Because... Uh, like, I'm comparing him to Zark. Zark is level 4 with 22 skill, 24 special. Or speed, sorry, not special. Uh, 17 strength, though. Because Edward... Ugh. But no, if... We can wait, we can wait. But... Yeah, I, I just want to bring you guys in for that. And I have some antitoxins ready because we are going to be poisoned in this. Venom axes are here now. So let's leave the base and let's get going. Good, you may begin. Here, have a little swim. So, I've played this level a bunch. I mean, not obviously in this playthrough, but, um... Stop! Bop! Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. But I don't think I've ever been able to save all of the hostages. Do that bleeding filth, bleeding heart filth. We have a day in Liberation Army. Everyone, hold tight. You'll be safe soon. Mm. Look at that hair. Could it be the silver-haired maiden, our country's savior, come to rescue us? The savior, Dayan. Whether they suspected a trap or not, they're here, brazen fools. All hands, take battle positions. Silverhead wrench, wench, I'm going to drown you and all of Dane's hopes in these filthy waters. You've no escape. So, it's a trap after all. 
Don't get too smug, you cruel cowards. We have a little something up our sleeves, too. Tormod, here's your chance. Bop. And bop. Oh, you're still standing. But now you're not. Oh, but wait, there's more. Nalia, Voluk. Nalia is now ours to command. But wait, there's more! Subhumans, they're everywhere, how? Raphael, even you came to help? Yeah, he did. What happened just now? What was that strange song? That was Viger, or Vigor, a Heron Galder that can re-energize our allies in a fight. Don't be distracted, Micaiah. Let's set our formation while we can. So we got Nalia, who is one of the best units in the entire game. You will see very soon. And we have, um... Raphael, who can let people move again. So choose units. We don't get a, a large pick. Nolan, you don't. Aaron, you absolutely don't get to be a part of this. Um, we can't use Jill or Tronio in this fight. There are flying units, so I think we're going to go with Leonardo. Well, Ileana has the advantage on dragons, but... Or go with Leonardo. Okay, reposition. Zhark. Uh, um, okay. So let's save. And fight. Okay. So, just want to see. We have light. Does 15 damage. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. And then... And go here. I just want to make sure I am not putting myself in danger. Because they cannot change quite yet. Well, can I rescue? No. Alright, now all of these down... Oh, hold up. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Neither, none of them can attack. Well, Makai is being blocked. Let's see here. Eleven. It won't kill. So maybe Zhark. That'll kill. Okay. Steel bow, 50. Oh. The shame. What about Micaiah? 15. Can't do anything in return. So we have what, four units. There's three of them. If Edward can kill one person by himself, then we're, we're fine. 16 times 2. That'll kill. Um, now, can Soth kill you? Can Edward kill you? No. Ugh. How far can you reach? Nalia. Alright, Valug has to come here. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Edward can kill that guy. 
five damage there. That'll bring him down to 32. Uh, this will... 32 plus 22. Or no, not 35 plus 22. That's 27. Oh, and Makai can't reach any of them. Who's the bigger threat? I would say the mage. Where can Raphael reach? Okay. I'll move Raphael this way. Nalia. Look at her stats. Like. She's coming over here. Hey, you have Elf Thunder. What do you have? Elf, Elf. Okay, two Elf Thunders. We're fine. 43, 49 times two. They have no chance of hitting. We even get a crit. Nalia is ridiculous. Okay, so. I guess we just have to end because. Edward, anything Edward can do? Six, six, eleven, nine. Wait, so nine. Wait, no, then that's five. All right, we have to end. Okay. Here's our first wyvern. And this is what I mean, like, Nalia <laughs> is insane. Okay, he missed his Venom Axe, that's good. Okay. <sighs> Trying to figure out how's the best way to do this. like to do some damage at least uh, let's kill one of the mages okay, over here 17 times 2 19 times 2 that's 38 okay you're dead okay so this guy Vika can't. Uh. I should have bought that Olivy Grass, but I bought the Worm Slayer instead. Uh, okay, well, Valug's gonna kill you. And then Raphael. I'm going to Vigor. All right, hand axe, and that's it. Steel lance, and that's it. Out of curiosity, eight times two. Ugh. I can just straight up probably kill the. Oh, I can't kill this guy. can hear oh no no I can't I can shove but that is super super dangerous Um, 
didn't need to shove her there, but... What are your stats like? Defense... 7. I mean, defense of 3. You have strength of 14, you have... Th Alright. I'm gonna shove in hopes that the Wyvern attacks Vika. I'm gonna move over here. All right. And I think now we're in a predicament. Weapon level up, even though it doesn't really matter. Kill oh my god, Leonardo. Not in a good spot. I might have to restart this. Okay, if I move you here and get the Viger. I always say Viger, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's Vigor. No chance for crit. Wait, does nine times three kill you? Yes. Okay. Oh wait, I don't do nine. Why was I thinking I do nine? Shit. Okay, we might be. We might be good. We might be good. You can reach, move forward. All right, we're gonna try and kill him right now. That brings him down to 11. I need another shove. No one else can move. Oh no. We're not in a good position at all. Do I have a crit? I have 3% chance to crit. Don't even hit. Uh, oh God. Two prisoners dead. Oh, man. I need this guy to die. Okay, he's dead. Now the one thing is, I 
be attacked by you. I can be attacked by you. Can I rescue? Okay. Some really sketchy stuff is going on right now. Oh boy. Okay, 14 damage. Sure. Can I kill you? 18 times 2, yes. You were not allowed to do that. You were not allowed to do that. Luckily, Raphael's here. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. So, Soth is not in a good spot right now. 16 times 2. Okay. He hit 26%, really? Alright. we go. Um... Man, I really wish I could rescue Soth. I'm just gonna have to end it. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know if that's good or bad. I didn't get hit. Okay, maybe that's good. Oh, that's bad. Okay, another Wyvern Rider. That's actually pretty good because we have the Worm Slayer right here. 34 damage, 100% hit, die. Yeah. Okay, so now you we have to worry about. We don't have... Are you maxed yet? No. Go here, vulnerary. Kill this guy with Nalia. Okay. And this is route the enemy, so I have to kill everyone. How do I want to do this? That is the question. Okay. Stepping foot will aggro him. Okay, I'm gonna herb. I'm going to step out. Move Micaiah there. Move you there. Uh, maybe move you here. Let's heal up Zhark. Move Tormod back here. Uh, I want to. Well, Galt, I'll talk first. When you come, I thought Heron's ab abhorred fighting. Wherever the queen goes, I follow. I practice seed magic. Even if I cannot fight, I can lend strength to my friends and companions. Yes, I heard you singing to Queen Nali and Voluga earlier. We are blessed to have you at our side. If I sing to you, I can restore your spirits as well, so that you might attack your foes swiftly. So you will help us? Hoping you would give me great joy. Give my thanks. Alright, Galder. Alright. 
I was like, I doubt I can show more of them. Uh, all right. Kill the fire one. Savage. Wow. You just got straight savaged. Uh, okay. I'm gonna shove soft. Or card 12 times two. I know I have the venom axe. I, I gotta. Okay, he missed. So now. Let me just make sure. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna shove Makaya, who's... Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna attack then. I wanted Vika to kill him. But, so much for that. Alright, Vulnerary. Uh, oh, Nalia has already moved. Edward... Let's heal up Tormod. Okay. Uh... Move, start moving Vika back there. Gonna Galder. What is Morum's resistance? Kind of decent, actually. So I'm gonna just run Morum straight through. Okay, so only two have died. That's actually pretty good for me. <laughs> typically, a lot more than just two die whenever I do this. Okay. What kind of magic do you have? Just thunder, okay. They have, no, they can just walk over here, okay. I should have shifted then. Crap. It's my defense. 15, okay. Uh, okay, I can move Volug right here. And that should, yeah, that blocks, okay. Just wanted to be safe. I'm gonna move Soth there. Is Nelly, did I move Nelly already? Yes. Okay, Edward. Didn't even get poisoned. Like that in itself. Pretty miraculous. Okay, Vigor, just so we can start moving. I don't think we're gonna need all these people over there. We're also getting XP for Raphael every time we do that. So. It's not a loss. Makaya. Over. I'll move my Kaya here. Alright. Attacking Volug like I had thought. I have to kill him. 16 times 2, that's dead. I 
I don't think I can kill him. Shove soft. I have to rescue Micaiah. Alright, move out with Leonardo. Alright. Move Vika here, gonna shift. This is not good. I thought I was home free. But there was, I think this is the final bit of reinforcements. And Nalia. Mm. What is this subhumans from Gallia? You know they're different somehow, don't. can one shot with Morum. 10 damage. I can kill you right here. We're ending this. <laughs> I see the maiden has subhumans eating out of her hand. Well, your skins will look nice on my trophy wall. That wench, her power is much too dangerous. She mustn't be allowed to. Ugh. And Vika, just straight up destroy it. Yeah. And there we go, no one dead. Only two of the hostages were killed. Whew. That got way too sketchy way too many times, but we did it. We're nearly back to camp. I wonder if the prince will overlook the fact that I insisted on this mission. I'm sure he'll be happy when he sees the prisoners are safe. Soth, do you hear a noise coming from the canyon? Is it people shouting? Look, look up there! The maiden has returned and the prisoners are with her! She won another victory. She escaped their trap and destroyed the enemy. Again! Radiant with divine protection, she truly has the goddess's blessing. The silverhead maiden, our priestess! Priestess of Dawn! Hooray! Lady Micaiah! What could they be celebrating? It seems the soldiers are celebrating your liberation of the of the prisoners. You should have you should wave to them. People like the heroes to seem approachable. It would make them happy. I'm no hero, but I see what you mean. What a glorious sight she is! Lady Micaiah, Lady Micaiah, the, pre the priestess of dawn! Sorry, I'm just excited for things to come. <laughs> Here you are. I've been looking for you. Soth. After all those soldiers cheering, I feel like I'm doing real good here. Nakaya? Soth, please come quick. There's something wrong with Morum. Morum? Oh, no. Grr. Morum, get a hold of yourself. Look at me. G good little one. This happens over and over. Morum suddenly transforms and he growls like he's losing his mind. 
And if I if I grab him and yell his name again and again, he returns to himself. But then it just starts over. And then when he's growling, his eyes they look as if as if one of them is looking at me. Them? One of them? Who? One of who? You can't me. No. Help him, please. I don't know what to do. The time between transformations getting shorter and shorter. Uh, my body can't. No, no, little one, get away. No, I won't let you. I'll die before I let you go feral. Morum, look at me. That song. Raphael. Good. What? Morum! Morum! Mm, the Galder of Rebirth restores twisted bodies and souls to their proper states. You will be alright now. Thank you. Without Morum, life would be terrible. I mean, Morum's basically his dad. What was that song? It was different than when he sang before. It was the Golder of Rebirth. I heard it once before in the war, but... Micaiah, what's wrong? I feel odd. Maybe it was the song. I'm shaking for some reason. But I'm truly gra glad that Morum will be alright. Feral ones? In the Mad King's War, Dane's military developed living weapons. They were called Feral Ones, lagoons that had been warped and twisted by terrible experiments. Terrible, you say? Do you mean the refute... To refute the highly effective result of my brilliant research? Oh, I didn't... I thought he was going to ignore. Because, yeah, in, in Panther Radiance, we found out he was the one behind the... Like, he was what made the Feral Ones feral. And it was you. You secretly gave Morum the drug to turn him into a feral one. And what's wrong with that? Maintaining constant battle strength and beast state? How splendid! How dare you! Transforming Lacus into feral ones dramatically shortens their lifespans. It destroys their sense of self and they do nothing but fight until they die. And you, you gave Morum that drug. Puns need no sense of self. It's only natural to sacrifice soldiers for victory in war. You twisted maniac, you are the lowest. Everybody, pl wait, please. Izuka clearly did a terrible thing to that su I mean, that Laguz. I apologize. Tormod, I'm truly sorry. He will not use the drug again, so please, try to forgive him. Prince Peleus. My prince! We must not have royalty bowing and scraping, scraping before swine like... That's enough! Tormod. Him go. Cien or Cienne, I don't know. Benyon Capital. Oh God, I don't have water for this voice. Oh my, all right. <clears throat> I see, is that true? Yes, Apostle. Our occupation forces have engaged in appalling and inhumane excess in Dayan. These excesses were perpetrated entirely outside the knowledge of the occupational governor, Duke Numida. Duke Numida. I come to you I come to you penitent. Failing my duties as governor, I, Numida, share a measure of guilt for this disaster. I am prepared to take the appropriate punishment, Apostle Sanaki. However, I feel that freeing the people of Dan from the clutches of our oppression is the most urgent task. Urgent, you say? Then we must make haste. We will forthwith convene an, an inspection team and request a meeting with the army led by the late King Ashnard's orphan. We will assure them of Benyon's intentions, then we will immediately address the occupation force's tyranny. Excellent. In that case, please please deign to allow me, your humble servant, Lacane, to lead the inspection team. The soldiers who have stained the Empire's name will be toppled where they stand. I promise you shall not live to return here. That is unacceptable. I will decide the soldiers' punishment only after hearing their side. And I have chosen to appoint Severon, Duke Percy's. To lead the investigation team, is that acceptable, Severon? I hear and obey, my Empress. What? But, but, Apostle Sanaki, 
This is a dire situation. Accordingly, I judge the Prime Minister, Duke Percy's, to be more suited to the role than you, Vice Minister Lacan. That is all. Your oh, Lord Lacan, what shall I do? Duke Numida, my friend. I'm afraid you must sacrifice every last Benyon in the Imperial Occupation Army. Oh, what? That's ridiculous, but... Blast that spoiled brat and her cunning little schemes. You'll regret this, Apostle Sanaki. I forgot that I wasn't done with that voice. We still have that voice to deal with. <laughs> but that was Chapter 8. Another long one. Jeez. It's pretty much long because of that dialogue at the end. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We're nearing the end of Part 1. There are only 10 chapters, I believe, in part one. There's chapter nine and then endgame. If I can remember correctly, that is. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Bye.